to make sure these bastards remember my fucking Outstanding. Greetings gamers, uh, I'm Pemby66 and uh, I'm using, uh, as you can see, Sony Vegas. Now this is Pro 12, as you can see at the top of the screen there. Pro 12. And I've been noticing later, lately, when I record an MP4 with the Live Gamer Portable, 30 megabytes a second, 30 frames a second. I mean, that, I mean, I do it that, that because that's what my computer's com comfortable with. I could do 60 frames, 1080p, but my computer's not the best. So, you know, you've got to bear that in mind when you're recording. If anybody's recording with a Live Gamer Portable and you've encountered choppy videos, it's probably because your PC can't keep up, basically. I mean, I'm pretty sure on that one. Um, but basically we've got what we have here let's just minimize this there's a video project of uh, lost in nightmares from Resident Evil 5 now the reason why I'm, I'm, I've made the video about that for my channel is it's a very good it's a pretty damn good graphical you know example of what the PlayStation 3 can do even though you know we know the PS4 is out but some games look that gorgeous even on the old consoles you know I like to record them in HDMI with the view HD splitter just to show them off but one thing I've been noticing when I'm recording and you know recording as an mp4 this is the original file here is the we got the frame width is 1280 by 720 and the data rate is 27 510 kbs kbps all right so it's like it's run about 27 nearly near of near 28 28 meg the frame rate is 29.970 really and um, but the audio's coming up 128 kilobytes a second when it's got it's set for 256 via my Ava Media central software so I don't know what's gone on there I've noticed that before actually All right it's 7.51 gigabytes now we don't want it to be that size but then again Hang on, let's uh, go to the details. It's 38 minutes 55 seconds long, which I'm not going to put a 38 minute video on YouTube. But I'll get to the point finally. And you probably sign re relief. relief. Now, this is a 15 minute section of it, and this is the finished vi video here Lost in Nightmares properties. 3.3 gigabytes, right? Because I, I got, I got, I'm, I'm a big stickler for high quality. 1280 by 720 and it's near enough actually the total bitrate is a little bit higher now it doesn't need to be that high I've just tried it on 28,000 within Sony Vegas but the problem is when you're recording with Sony Vegas Pro 12 let's go let's get to the point here because this is what the video is about basically um, let's go to render I'll show you what I'm finding is some gaming videos not all but some when I record them it looks fantastic using this preset the main concept AVC stroke AAC now you can stick with internet HD 1080p or internet HD 720 but I've got my own template based on that one yeah it's um, if I customize it this is what I caught it's like audio 192 it doesn't need to be any higher than that HD 720s of course now <coughs> actually no that's not the one I use let's have a look this is the one I use sorry <laughs> now let's have a look at the now this one my mp4 new is basically the audio is as good as, as it can be well you could record in higher quality than that um, HD 720 frame rate 29.970 now it's set for variable bitrate 25 meg because the original file is round about supposedly 30 meg because that's how it's been recorded with the capture card but what I'm finding is during certain scenes in certain games like this Lost in Nightmares game he's running through a corridor and then you know he opens a door and then it all pixelates and then resets itself and I'm thinking I don't want to see that and I've found out the reason it's because it's set for variable bitrate now variable bitrate means that basically you can achieve higher quality than constant bitrate but in this case if I set that to constant bitrate which is how that video this hang on this actual video the lost in nightmares video that's finished now I've set it at constant bitrate 
of 28 megabytes all right and that's all I've changed there just to see if changing from variable to constant cuts out the pixelation problem and I'm proud to announce that it has in my case using all these settings the constant bitrate is and I don't notice it's a loss in quality from variable what I do notice it doesn't pixelate so if you're having that problem with Sony Vegas Pro 12 try changing it I mean I would recommend 20 yeah if you really really want small file sizes then I won't go below 10 but I I wouldn't go below my, me personally I wouldn't go below 20 that's just me all right so that's what I set my video at okay and click on render all right so by I'll just go over it again if you go on as a main concept AVC stroke AAC MP4 you know you can you can use the template and then you can customize that template to your liking and that's all I've done there basically so change it to constant run about 28 or 20 or even 10 if you if you know you're not really that bothered and it will actually render faster than variable so if you're having that problem with Sony Vegas Pro 12 where it's pixelating then try that it worked for me there's no guarantee it will work for you but I'm pretty sure it should if you use similar settings all right I'm Pemby 66 thanks for watching guys I hope this has helped somebody and uh, I'm off this as a certain somebody I know says peace see you later